In our last webcast addressing the fundamentals of the freight forwarding industry, I'm going to discuss the financial health of the sector. From the research contained in our recent report, Global Freight Forwarding 2012, we can say that freight forwarders are remarkably resilient in terms of profitability. As you can see from this chart, although margins have fallen slightly over the past six years, on the whole they have fluctuated in a narrow range around the 5% level. This is despite the volatility in revenues which can be seen over the same period. The chart tracks the profitability and net revenues of some of the largest publicly listed freight forwarders. Although margins overall have remained steady, there is a considerable range in the levels of profitability. US freight forwarder Expeditus, for example, achieves operating profit margins of over 10%, whereas at the other end of the scale, a number of companies operate at margins between 2 to 4%. The average operating margin of the companies included in this survey is 4.4%. This has come down from 5.4% in 2009. This next chart plots forwarders operating margin against their revenues. It is assumed that most companies would prefer to be in the top right quartile, very large and highly profitable. It is difficult to identify one single reason for the diverse range of profitability, given that the companies all perform similar functions in the same markets. However, here are some suggestions why there might be some differences. Firstly, management and staff are crucial. Freight forwarding relies heavily on the ability of staff to buy and sell effectively. It needs well experienced and high quality personnel who are motivated and well managed. Secondly, buying power in the industry is important. A freight forwarder with large volumes can buy better rates from a shipping or airline. However, the freight forwarder then has a choice. It can either benefit itself from the lower rates by not passing them on fully to shippers, or it can use these lower rates to grab market share by operating at lower margins. And thirdly, overheads. Some companies will be better at operating with lower overheads than others, and this will include offices and IT. In many respects, this comes back to the quality of the management making decisions on investment. For more information on all these issues, please follow the link to our latest report, Global Freight Forwarding 2012.